Hi guys, in this video, we're going to see how you can set up an AI agent that can convert a product image into a 360 degree view video using NA10. With this simple tool, I just upload my product image in this form and click submit. The automation runs and a few moments later, I get a high quality 360 degree view product video. Videos like these help customers explore the product better, feel more confident and help make purchase decisions faster. And that's why brands use them everywhere, on e-commerce stores, social media reels, and even in ad campaigns. I'll show you how to access the workflow and set it up step by step. To do that, first we need to get the N8 and hosting. So we are going to purchase N8 and from Webspace Kit, where we get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. Since N8 is open source, you get so much more benefits when you host it on your own on a platform like Webspace Kit. So to host N8 on Webspace Kit, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Scroll down and click choose plan. Here choose how long you want the hosting for. Then fill in these details. Here enter your payment details and click checkout. Now click here and you can see that we have successfully got the N8N hosting. So once you've got the hosting, next we need to set up the N8N automation. To do that, just scroll down, click on go to setup, fill in these details, click next and it will take you to this page. Now this is the place where we are going to create the workflow. You can create a workflow from scratch but it takes a lot of time. So to make things easier, we've already created a workflow template and it is available on Webspace Kit for free. To get the template, go back to Webspace Kit, scroll down. And here you'll find different workflow templates for various AI agents. Since we are creating a 360 degree video agent, let's select that and click download. Perfect. The template has been downloaded to our computer. Now we need to import this workflow into our N8N account. So let's go back to N8N. Then click here. Select import from file. Then upload the workflow file you just downloaded. And as you can see here, we've got the workflow. All right, we have successfully imported our workflow, but it's not functional yet. You may have noticed some warning signs on the nodes in the workflow, and these indicate that those nodes still need to be configured. So to make our workflow fully functional, we need to set up some of the nodes and connect them to our workflow. Now let's start by connecting Dropbox to our workflow. So the first step is to connect Dropbox to N8N. Dropbox is used as a storage where we'll upload our product images. Once uploaded, a direct link of the image will be created and that will be used to generate the product video. So to connect Dropbox to N8N, open the upload file node, click here, select create new credentials and we need to enter the API key. To get the Dropbox API keys, open a new tab, search for Dropbox.com, now click here, click here and sign in with your Google account and replace home with developers. Click create app. Select these two options and enter a name for our app. And select create app. Once the app is created, go to permissions. Select the required permission one by one as I do. and click submit. Now go to settings, here click generate and as you can see we got the API key that we need. So let's copy it, go back to n 8 paste it here and click save. Next, we need to paste this API key in these HTTP request nodes as well. So let's open this node and replace the placeholder with the API key. In the same way, open this node and paste the API key. Alright, we have successfully connected Dropbox to our N8N workflow. So now whenever we upload a product image, 
it will be passed automatically in the correct format to the next step which is OpenAI. So let's go to step 2 which is to connect OpenAI to NA10. In this workflow, we have three OpenAI nodes each with a specific task. The first node analyzes the uploaded image to understand what is in the picture. The second node creates a clear and detailed description of the product based on that analysis. And the third node creates a video prompt for a final 360 degree view product video. So to connect OpenAI to NA10, open this node, click here and select create new credentials. Here we need to enter the API key of our OpenAI account. To get the API key, click the link in the description and sign in with your Google account. Once you're signed in, go to API keys, click create new secret key, here give a name for your key and click create secret key. As you can see, we now have our API key but keep in mind, you'll only be able to get an API key from OpenAI if you've added a payment method first. So let's copy this key, paste it in NA10 and click save. Great, now we have successfully connected OpenAI to NA10 but since we have multiple OpenAI nodes in our workflow, to connect them, just open the nodes and it will be connected automatically to the workflow. Once they are connected, you can see the warning signs have disappeared. Alright, so now we have successfully connected all the OpenAI nodes. Now let's go to the third step which is to connect the video generator to NA10. To turn our product image into a full video, we are going to use a tool called Runway.ai. It lets you generate high quality AI videos effortlessly. So to connect the video generator to NA10, we need to get its API key. And to do that, just click the link in the description and it will take you to this page. Now click on sign up. Fill in your details and click continue with email. Once you're logged in, go to wallet. Now here we need to set up the payment method and add some credit balance to access the API key. So I'm going to add $20 as it'll let me create 33,000 free images but you can add the fund amount that best suits your needs. So to add the funds, just click here, enter your invoice details, click continue, enter your card details and click save. Just enter the fund amount and click add fund. As you can see the fund is added to your balance and now we can get the API keys. So go to API keys, give the key a name and click create API key. As you can see we've got the key that we needed. So let's copy it, go back to NA10, open the flux image node, click here and replace the placeholder with the API key. Alright, now we need to paste the same API key into these two nodes as well. So let's do that one by one. Just open the node, click here, replace the placeholder with the API key. And click save. And once you've added the API key in both these nodes, the video generator will be successfully connected to our workflow. So now we have connected all the required API services to our NA10 workflow and it's ready to run. So let's test it. Just click execute workflow and this form will pop up. Just click here, upload a product image and click submit. And you can see that the workflow has started to run in the background. And once it is done, open this node and you can see we've got a video here. Amazing right? To download it, just click here and it will be saved to your computer. So let's open it and see how the video turned out. As you can see the quality of the video is really good. And the 360 degree spin highlights every side of the product without any distortions. Alright, so this is how you can create 360 degree view videos for your product using NA10. However, if you don't want the hassle of setting up a full workflow to create 360 degree videos, I've got good news. With Gravity Right, you can generate stunning 360 degree product videos just by uploading an image. And the best part, Gravity Right is running a limited time deal right now, so don't miss it. Click the link in the description and try it out today.
So that's it guys, your N8 and automation is ready. And if you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe to Website Learners for more quick tutorials. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.